Good morning, children. Today we are going to discuss about the vertebrate rabbit. Okay, it is a mammal. The zoological name of rabbit is Oryctolagus cuniculus. Oryctolagus cuniculus. Okay, first we see upon the taxonomic position of the rabbit. Okay, phylum Chordata, subphylum Vertebrata, class Mammalia, order. Lagomorpha, genus, Oryctolagus, species, cuniculus. Okay. These are the taxonomic position of rabbit. Okay. Now, uh, rabbit a path or an rumba pretty count than So, other than the manager for all, make it particular. So, yeah. First one, habit and habitat. Now, the other habit and habitat. What is the habit and habitat of the rabbit here? The rabbit is a gentle and timid animal. Okay. They show leaping movement and live in burrows. Here they are distributed throughout the world. The whole world the rabbit on the Here they are herbivorous animals. Okay, herbivorous means what? They eat only grasses. Okay. Next, here uh, mainly the grass, turnips, vegetables like carrot, turnips, and lettuce. These are the feeding habit of the rabbit. Okay, the rabbits are gregarious. What is the meaning of the word gregarious? Gregarious means moving in groups. So, yeah, gregarious so that we call as gregarious animal okay so these are the habit and habitat of rabbit okay next one guest channel morphology now the rabbit first one shape how shape and size color okay what is the shape it is an elongated elongated and cylindrical body okay the shape is elongated and cylindrical body. The male and female are of the same size. When you look upon the rabbit, the male and female are same in size. Okay. They grow about mostly 45 centimeters. Okay. The weight is 2.25 kilograms. Okay. The color. What is the color of the rabbit? Nama rabbit's path gola. In the colors nama path go mostly. White and black. Okay. White to black and white colors. Okay. The body is covered by what? Busu busu nirukonla. Adhanadhe. Fur. Okay. The body is covered by fur. Okay. These are the shape and size coloration of the rabbit. Okay. Next one. Body division. What is the division of the body? Head, neck, trunk and tail. These are the divisions of the body. Okay. First one. Head. It is mostly ovoid, ovoid, flattened and bears truncate snout. Okay, so these are the head. It is, it has the external nerves, eyes and vibrissae. These are the uh, parts of the head. Okay, the mouth is transversely. Think about what you know, mouth on the transverse slit to my Transverse slit. Okay, then they have vibrissae. Vibrissae means briskers. Okay, that's a viscous. Vibrissae means what? Viscous. Okay, a pair of large mobile yes channel. Look at the diagram. A mobile yeah. Okay, mobile yeah is present. It is also known as what? Pinna. It is also known as pinna. Okay, next one neck. Here the neck connects the head with the trunk. The head will connect the uh, trunk by neck. Okay. It helps to turn the head. It is helpful to turn the head. Head of the rabbit. Next one, trunk region. Look at the trunk region. Here, the trunk is divisible into anterior thorax and posterior abdomen. Anterior thoracic region and posterior, posterior what? Posterior abdomen. Okay. Here, the trunk bears two pairs of pentadactylian. Very unique feature of the rabbit that is the pentadactylian limb. What is the meaning of the word penta? Pentadactylian that means 
The four limbs are shorter than the hind limb. And the munna kai vandu shorter hai. Chariya? The four limbs are shorter than the hind limbs. That is bend of the tail. Okay ma? Okay. Next one, tail. Here the tail is short. The tail is short. The tail is short. It is used to give signals. Signals to other rabbits in the events of danger. Okay, that is the help. Signal to the other. Use of the Okay. Next one, integument. What is the integument? The outer integument. That is the skin. What's the coverage of the skin? Mostly the body is covered by what? Skin. Mostly the hats. Okay. Hats, claws, nails, then glands like sweat glands, sebaceous glands, and mammary glands. These are the integuments of the rabbits. Okay, ma. Next one. Celo. The tail integument we study. Next one is the celo. Celo means what? The body cavity. Okay. Celo means body cavity. There are two cavities. Thoracic cavity and abdominal cavity. Thoracic cavity and abdominal cavity. In thoracic cavity, uh, lungs and heart is present in the thoracic cavity. Okay. Next one. In abdominal cavity, the digestive and urinogenital system is present. In thoracic cavity, what is present? Lungs and heart is present. In abdominal cavity, digestive system and the urinogenital systems are present. Okay. These are about the habit and habitat and external morphology of the rabbit. Okay. Next one, the digestive system. In digestive system, it includes the alimentary canal and the associated glands. Okay. First, first of all, uh, when you see the digestive system, we all know what are all the organs that are involved in the digestive system. Mostly mouth, buccal cavity, esophagus, stomach, intestine, everything. Okay. Here, the mouth leads into buccal cavity. In mouth, what is present? The upper and lower jaws are present in the mouth region. Okay. So, this mouth leads into what? The buccal. The mouth leads into the buccal region. Okay. The buccal cavity. In buccal cavity, what is present? Teeth and tongue is present in the buccal cavity of the rabbit. Okay. This buccal cavity leads into esophagus. This is the esophagus. Okay. The buccal cavity leads into what? Esophagus. This esophagus leads into what? Stomach. Okay. The stomach leads into small intestine. This is the small intestine. Okay. The small intestine leads into what? Large intestine. In between the small intestine and large intestine, the junction between the small intestine and large intestine, one organ is present. That is the cecum. What is that? Cecum. In this cecum, bacteria is present. This bacteria is useful for the digestion of the cellulose. Yeah, now the rabbit on the grass is a chart. Now, the grass is the hard for the cellulose. That is digest for the bacteria. That bacteria is present in this cecum. Okay? Then, the large intestine is in, leads into colon. Colon leads into rectum. Rectum leads into anus. From the anus, after digestion, all the waste are expelled out. That is about the digestive system of rabbit. Very simple. Okay? Here, the digestive glands. There are different digestive glands associated with the digestive system. What are they? Salivary gland, gastric gland, liver, pancreas and intestinal glands. These are the digestive glands that is present in the uh, rabbit. Okay? Have you all understood now? Study well. Okay. Thank you.